2300 KV Homes Hobbies 2 in 1. This has got everything you need right in with a 5 amp BEC built into this thing. 21 millimeter rotor. Guys, let's open this up. The rotor in this thing, 21 millimeter diameter. That is huge, okay? Now, it is good to 4S. That is also really huge. Big deal here. Um, 12 slot, 10 pole. The more poles, generally speaking, the smoother it's going to run, the better it's going to pull. The length of the motor is 50 millimeters. Diameter, 36 millimeters. The weight is 160 grams. That's pretty darn nice. Now the shaft diameter is the 3.175 and it sticks out 15 millimeters. At this point, I know you guys are going to want to see it because, I mean, there is no other comparison to it. Let's see how it stacks up size-wise compared to a Fusion Pro. As you can see, the diameter is pretty much the same. I mean, that where there's fine, but look at the length of this thing. The length of this being so much shorter means it's going to fit in so many more places. This is huge. And the fact that it's a full 540 in here somehow, that's even huger. If there's one thing this should have a lot of, it's instant punch, instant torque, instant power. That's a big deal there. You know, there should not be any lag, should not be any ramp up, should not be any of that. And although this does come with a tuner, which uses normal AM32 tuning, it pretty much doesn't need it. So you can take this off right here. The auxiliary wire, this controls a few things like your drag brake for one, but also if you turn it all the way down on one of your channels, your buttons, you can actually get like a forward brake, reverse brake, forward brake, reverse. I'll show you when I'm driving. And here it is in the executioner. I used the same 17 tooth pin gear I had on the Fusion. There's a lot more room between that servo and the motor, which means you can actually push the skid forward and build yourself some new links to you know, get that, get that motor and all that forward a little bit. You'll need longer rear links, longer rear shaft, and shorter front to make that happen, but totally doable. And with all that said, let's get this thing outside. Let's see what this motor's got. Okay, the first part of the drive is I'm going to turn my knob down, and we're going to get into like the uh, coasting or the basher phase. No drag brake. Now, I want you to see something. This requires a double pump. Brakes. 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 All right, so you see how that works? And with that done, so really this ESC is, doesn't really have a forward and reverse to it, it seems. It's just simply the same way both directions now with that turned up, now you're in more your crawl mode. Instant forward, instant reverse. I mean, really takes off. And watch this right here. I mean, it really just launches. With the Fusion, you don't get that. You get the more ramp up. So this particular setup, you really get the pop. And crawl mode on it. I do have a little bit of Expo on channel two because it is very punchy. And it's gonna take me a little while to get used to that, to be honest with you. I'm gonna make this pull right over through here. I did bring it out earlier, which is kind of why I have the Expo set on this thing. <laughs> oh, my steering tie rod, I've got all bound up down in there. There we go. Oh, my tie rod's messing me up. See my tie rod all into there? I think that's have a lot of punch. There we go. I'm going to fix that. There we go. I pulled it up a little bit. So, I'm going to make the pull over through here. There's no BEC on it or anything like I showed you. So, there's a lot of torque here. And it almost is like FOC, but not quite. And I think the not quite part is why we've got all the punch. Um, like some of the outrunners and things out there, it's got a lot of instant punch to it, except this is a nice, rather short end runner, which means it's going to fit a lot of places. Let's bring it down right here. Let's just see how this is going to work out for me. 
It's probably not. I'm probably going to flip it. But let's see. Oh, whoo! Okay. I kind of figured that was going to happen. So I want to see if I can get Ruby here. And if I can get this the way I'm thinking I can, I'm going to be able to show you some of the punch of this thing. Like right there. Now, honestly, when, when you go from a fusion that you're used to to this, you're going to have to, wow, you're going to have to relearn your drive because you don't have that kind of punch with a fusion like that right there. So let me try to go a little bit slower. <laughs> Let's see if I can walk it a little bit slower here. Come on, get that up through here. See if I can just do what you're supposed to do and crawl. All right. Well, would you look at that? Turn your driver mod on and drive? Things work. <laughs> Go figure, right? I'm going to bring it right over through here, too. So... I'm really kind of curious how this thing is going to run with the 16 tooth. So if I can get that in there, I think we'll be all set. Ooh, that's a nice thing about this. You can give it that pop and make it pull those lines like that. All right. Just fell right into the worst possible hole that you could ever possibly imagine. Yeah, you're going to have to make sure you set your your expo up correctly. If not, man, this right here is going to pop some parts. Because this motor right here just doesn't really care. It's going to move something. <laughs> nice. Yeah, see, driving this is going to be something I'm going to have to turn my or adjust my driver mod to fit. Honestly. Now, I am running my new X codes as well. Yeah, buddy. I like the X codes. I'm not sure if they are, I'm not, I, I don't know if they're my favorites or the pro codes. I still really love my pro codes. Hopper should be pretty easy. Yeah, hopper's just way too easy. I shouldn't even show it anymore. Bring that up. I'm gonna crawl. Cl <laughs> We're going to chloral fall time. <laughs> oh, I don't know how you ever go chloral anything, but right now, guys, we are chloraling. <laughs> See? Perfect chloral. Now, as I'm driving this, I'm not really having to input any extra as far as like when it you know, starts to push or get into a bind or something. The torque just feels really, really solid on this. And with anything from, oh, there's some wind. I don't have my little muffy things on my microphone, so I had to kind of pause there. But like with anything from Holmes, guys, you're gonna get top of the line performance. I mean, you're just going to get it. Even, even his uh, budget motors. Oh, wait a minute, I wanna try something. Something I can't do with a fusion i'm gonna see if i got just enough to actually hop that gap if i do this is gonna be impressive if i don't we're about to crash it oh that is something i absolutely cannot do with a fusion sorry fusion i love the fusion i really do but it does not have the pop to get that that was impressive. At this point, I think I've seen everything I need to see out of this. Uh, the adjustability, I do believe it can use one tooth less. And you may not think one tooth less can be all that important, but it can change everything. So either, well, I think it's just, I, I didn't add any input to this. So it was either you could do one tooth less on the pinion gear or get into the axles and put an underdrive gear set in the back end. So I do feel the under, 
I wonder if I can. I'll, let's see. Let's see what happens. You ready? I should have stayed on it. Ready? Nice. I like you that. So I'd rather go with a underdrive gear set in the axle, to be honest with you. But changing the pinion gear is a lot easier. What am I doing over here? Let's go see. Apparently, this is what I'm doing over here. If I can make that up here. I tell you, I haven't noticed any brownouts. The 5 amp BEC seems to be doing a good job here. Even with the... Oh, oh! I'm going to mess up and roll. I'd like to complete the line if I could. Oh, there we go. Come on, get past the diff. He got hung up on the diff and just slid. See, at this point, all it wants to do is come off onto the grass. I don't want it to come off onto the grass. I think it's going to come off onto the grass. Oh. Oh. That was me hitting hard reverse. I don't think. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> I don't care which way I go as long as I can keep it off the grass. But usually when I get aimed out that way, it's all over. Okay, I'm not sure. Guys, this thing has got a massive amount of torque. I really feel this thing could snap these axles pretty easily if I get too stupid with it. Dude, this thing is coming to the grass, isn't it? There is no way out of this. Yep. It went to the grass. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, uh, there, there you go. I'm going to put a rock over here to stop that. You watch. There, and there we have the drive part. Now, I do got to say, this is not a fusion. This is its own beast. You guys got to see absolute instant start, stop, all that control. Absolutely beautiful there. Um, it does drive. It drives with more crispness if that's a if that's a, a word um it's very much crisp it kind of feels like the uh Crawmaster mini v2 or v3 with an outrunner so it has that feel to it but with it being an in runner believe it or not the start and stop is a little bit more crisp because the rotor isn't on the outside it doesn't have all that mass rotating although this does have a 21 millimeter diameter rotor which is kind of a big deal so He's got absolute power in here. But I'm driving through, just like I told you, I wasn't really manipulating the throttle. It was just simply torquing its way right on through, which is absolutely fantastic. So overall, I do like this system right here. Um, I'm definitely going to give it another try. And just so you know, I did get two. When I do my 12.5 uh, sporty rig, I believe that's how they call it, sport shafty or something like that, I got to get my terminology right. This is what's going in it. I got a reason for that too. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Check it out. I'll link it down below. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. And man, Holmes Hobbies, he just keeps some coming up with the best stuff, doesn't he? Guys, have a great day. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part, channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.